Is that one slice of pie really gonna make or break your goals? Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today I wanna discuss going off the diet. So, the, the idea here is that I'm, I'm thinking about the holidays right now, and I'm thinking about taking time off, I'm going home uh, to see the rest of my family, and I might wanna have dessert at some point. Now, is that gonna put a lot of fat on my body? Am I gonna feel really bad about who I am, or should I feel bad about who I am and how I look? Um, the, the secret is that one of these meals is not really that big a deal. Um, even if you gorge yourself, which I would generally suggest if you're gonna have something, don't, you don't have to go overboard. You're just gonna get sick. Don't do that. You wanna enjoy it. Um, have a reasonable amount of things. Now, I don't always listen to that advice, but that would make a lot of sense if I did. Um, but one of these meals isn't gonna make or break your dietary goals. Having said that, there are occasions where I think that you do need to just say no. And those occasions are if you haven't proven that you already have total control of your cravings and of all of these other components of your health. So if you already go to bed and sleep eight hours a night, if you already don't really have dessert but one night a week, um, if you already work out at least three days a week, then yeah, go ahead and have some dessert one night when you're with your family. Like, enjoy it. That will be great. And you're not going to notice any negative consequences of that unless you eat something bad or that makes you sick, right? But if you've been on your diet for three days and you've been about 50% compliant, then you might as well, if you're going to have this dessert this day, you might as well just stop your diet because you, have, you will lose all steam that you have. Um, even if you've been 100% compliant for three days, you don't want to lose that steam. You don't want to lose that momentum. You need this psychological win to get on top of this, to say that food doesn't control my decision making. It doesn't make me eat it. I have control. I can say that I don't want to eat it. I, that is not the type of person that I want to be here in the future. So just some food for thought, pun not intended. Uh, think about where you are now, think about whether or not you deserve it. Um, it's totally fine if you, it's usually okay as long as you plan ahead, okay? So even if you don't eat that well and you're planning it ahead, you know that, hey, this night the family's gonna get together and I'm gonna have key lime pie or whatever, then you you're not like you're not sitting back and waiting for your emotional brain to take control of your decision making you are using your logical brain and you're saying i will be happier if i have this dessert with my family if i enjoy this with my friends or whatever you're ending up doing but if you say uh yeah i'll probably not have some maybe i'll have some i don't really know then you're not letting that decision be made um, by, you're, you're not making the decision, you're letting it be made is maybe the better way to say that. So think about that. When you're off traveling, when you're out of your routine, don't let it mess you up. Just try to plan ahead. Try to make sure that your logical brain is the brain that is making these decisions.